Morty. A very good morning to you. Mr. Morgan! Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. What is that? It's actually not really well detailed, but, um, hmm. Alright, so today, do we really want to go back? I don't know where else to play Five Finger Filet. I know we can do it in camp. Can't do Miracle Tonics. We can try this. That's hard. That I can do later. Uh, that I can do. Craft, I can't. And crafted ammo, I cannot do yet either. Actually, oh, this is going to take a while, but let's take a look at the lore. First off, this is 6364. Alright, let's have a look. Train robbery confounds lawmen. Wagon block train. Officials call for action. Gertrude. Oh, that's it. Gertrude Bumbatch was knitting a hat and niece and her niece was knitting a hat for her niece when the train lurched to a stop and shouting commenced. I feared for my life, she said. Passengers were subjected to a terrifying ordeal as the train was rubbed near the Lemoyne border. Our laws used an oil wagon on the tracks to cause the train to come to a stop. Then they threatened the passengers to give up their belongings. It was then that lawmen had been tipped off to the robbery. Lawmen have been tipped off to the robbery, arrived at the scene and confronted the outlaw. Sheriff Tompkins was one of those lawmen who arrived at the scene. There was very little to tell. We are searching for evidence at this time. The passengers are in great distress. The supply cars have been looted. Men are dead. The region's problems with lawless have returned. Reports indicate the outlaws escaped after having engaged in a furious gun battle with lawmen. It's not too much. Not too big of an article, these ones. It's just a lot. Uh... On Spanish-American War, outcome celebrated victory in 100 days. President Alfred McAllister congratulated the people, American people, for their response to the call to arms as North and South joined together to defeat. Seriously? You're all the way over there, mate. Fucking hell. I'll have to go further down this way so I don't get distracted by Gavin's friend. Alright, power of the United States, strongest nation in the Western Hemisphere. The splendid title, Little War, saw the US Navy defeat the Spanish fleet in a mere few hours. Not one American life was lost in that skirmish, proving what McAllister says is treatment to the glory and perseverance of America. Overall, only 300 American... That's a lot. <laughs> Overall, only 300 Americans lost lives in the war. Oh, in the war. Uh, I guess that's... Yeah. While the other side reported thousands of dead in the hands of brave boys, he especially may mention Colonel Theridus Waxman. These rough riders of the cavalry troop that took San Juan Hill in Guam are becoming a national hero in the process. Local man finds rock carvings. Church officials denounce claim. Evidence of ancient. Ministers gathered last week to denounce big claims of eccentric resident Frank McCaster of Big Valley in West Liverpool who asserts he has found evidence of ancient people in local rock formations. He has discovered several mysterious rock carvings around the country and claimed that they've point to a great meaning of mystery he intends to solve. Religious leaders have grown concerned with his work, worrying that others will get caught up in his fervor and habitual beliefs. There is only one meaning and message, and that is the message of the good book. Reverend Sterling Morton stayed during the gathering. Grizzlies under siege. Mexican desperados bring terror. Boldness to Flacco gang wars. Worry laws. Some of the most desperate... Oh, fucking hell. Some of the most, uh, where was I? Some of the most disparate bands in the region imposing a reign of terror on the Grizzlies in the surrounding country, led by the famous gunslinger outlaw Flacco and Andy, as a gang of thieves raided numerous local towns, including Strawberry and Valentine, in one daring, ultimate, fruitless train robbery. The safe and strong boxes were blown to atoms. Frightened passengers were held hostage, not enough mercifully molested. What? Mercifully molested. Reverend Unz Gerand has called for the expul expulsion. What he calls all men of the Mexican ancestry, they bring villainy when the crime of the great country. 
Oh, this is gonna be the big one, yeah. Was headed murderer on the loose, was headed to prison, ambush freeze outlaws, member of the Vandalin gang hawk chase for the fugitives. Sean McGuire, a member of the notorious Dutch Vandalin gang, has escaped custody. McGuire was captured in the process of being transported from Blackwater to Federal Prison in the West. As part of the Vandalin gang, he was responsible for the recent Blackwater boat robbery that left many dead. The shooter was feared several men were killed, resolved bounty hunters caught McGuire, but were ambushed in the stretch of the upper Montana River by confederates of the accused. Upon relaying circumstances of the escape, one lawman on the scene said that Maguire repeatedly expressed the idea of jail as no terror to him, the idea of death by hangman's noose. Maguire even once suggested to the sheriff that his rope wasn't stout enough and may break under his weight. Officials called for action saying the escape is yet another example of the inability of police to keep criminals incarcerated. Commodities to the Caribbean request of government protection, city robberies. Oh, that's a long one. Oh, Leviticus Cornwall is a well known expansionist of railroad. <laughs> Country is only a matter of time. He declared launching the Cornwall Southern and Eastern Railroads. He builds the trains and uses them to ship goods for Cornwall freight and commodities. Cornwall kerosene and tar and his other business concerns. His sugar business reaches into the Caribbean, and not a week goes by without a ship ferrying Cornwall sugar calling into America. He is now calling for government support to bring protection to industries working to improve conditions in the West after a string of robberies. Mr. Cornwall has been known to speak. Uh, I've never seen that word before. Known to speak glibly about the evil effects of education upon certain kinds of lesser in intellects. He's one of the wealthiest men in the region and requires numerous private guards to protect his person and multiple concerns. And despite questionable accounts of the poor conditions at plantations run by Cornwall, employees whose goods flow throughout much of the United States and Congress has so far little appetite for breaking people call a regional monopoly of services alongside his private militar militia. He believed he is one of the principal clients of the Pinkerton agency in the region. Oh dear. Cigarette cards give fame to murderers. What? New edition of the Falcon Claws draws protests. League warns spreads of habit youth. For many a year, man. For many a year, man and boy alike have delighted in all manner of collectible cards, including pouches, packs, tids of tobacco. But a new set into the Falcon Claw Tobacco that celebrates famous gunslingers and outlaws has drawn ire of purishing groups. Pure, yeah. The cards on a gunslinger such as Black Bell, Callaway, even Emma Granger, well, they're legends. A known sadistic killer in recent years turned into hog fancying. The Butcher Brothers who ran a foul legendary gunsling in London R Landon Ricketts, also featured in a Mexican Desperado, Flack and Hernandez, Gracias, Grace's one card, when the likes of Frank Heck and the Otis Miller boys, or the coward Billy Midnight, who shot many men in the card, are celebrated this way. It has spread contaminating influences to the effect of cigarette habit, said Miss Hattie Beardsley to the Anti-Cigarette League. Stores reported that the tobacco has been selling well. Scarlet fever rages in Armadillo, shocking conditions in the city. Scarlet fever exists in this town to the extent that it's never seen before, believed due to the bad sanitation through one health official claims it is exasperated by the wind, high winds of dust storms plaguing the country, county. The spread of Zemoph Zemotic diseases has raised great fears. Many households are under quarantine. Those who can can fling in droves. Sanitary conditions in the town are deplorable, and the mortality rate is so high that residents have taken to burning bodies between the dust storms, killing crops and causing starvation and scarlet fever epidemic. Some say Armadillo feels like a cursed town. Travelers are advised to avoid the area. Oh my god, there's still more. Immigrants must stay out, says President. Us can make law evicting immigrants permanent. Foreign workers harmful to wages economy. The Chinese Exclusion Act passed into federal law in 1882 has been renewed. The law prohibits all further integration of Chinese laborers, saying they'll have 
environmental effect on the US economy and are being used to industrials to undercut labor and keep wages low for everybody. Prominent of the regulation also argue that the Chinese have committed acts of violence upon Americans and will never interrogate properly in our society. States such as California restrictions I'm calling mandatory mandatory reputation of Chinese workers rep 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 Patriotism. Rep I hate. I hate those words. Many Chinese are faced with a decision to stay in the United States or return to China to be with their families, whom they never see again in their lifetime, due to ban of immigration upon renewal. Senator Lansing from New York called the act nothing less than legalization of racial discrimination, shouted down by a majority of senators who support the ban. Jesus, machine kills man. First recorded death by patrol driven vehicle. Mr. and Mrs. Thomas Eberhardt were heading from Boston to San Francisco by vehicle Thursday. Met a terrible accident as hundred, hundreds waited hours in the streets to their arrival Stanford, Connecticut to see an automobile for the first time. The couple were taking a much celebrated drive across the United States. Seldom accomplished as onlookers in each town stopped to see horseless carriage with their own eyes. According to officials, the roads have not been in a terrible state since the rains. The wheel in the spokes abruptly shattered, causing the automobile to fly into a ravine, flinging Mr. Everhard out in front of the vehicle and breaking his neck. Come see Strawberry. Quiet, lucky town nestled in the mountains, seeing a lot of change recently since the arrival of Mayor Timmons. Talk is all efforts. Turn Strawberry in the first class tourism destination. Well here travelers across the country. Recently East Coast Timmons says Timmer Town is poised to become cultural beacon of Adria Dax of the West, drawing pleasure seekers to come enjoy the local sights and sounds, basking nature's infinite glory. Some locals have been lukewarm to his plans saying that the tourism is a highly seasonal endeavor that results in low paying jobs to expense housing for locals and rude demanding tourists. Rude demanding tourists? Jesus. There's still more! Oh my goodness! These articles, man! <laughs> Albright, catch it. Benedict Albright, that's right. When Fanny Crenshaw suffered the. Re she looked at Benedict Albright, he's the suffering, told her that a fatty steak, the flesh around the virtue of the reptiles, will cure any case of rebotic issues, showing her long list of certificates from happy patients had cured. She borrowed money from the bank to purchase several bottles. Miss Crenshaw is now one of many people who have been poisoned by Albright's so called miracle cures. Towels are poured in after each town he visited where purchases feel sickly and usually worse by the original conditions they sought to cure. Albright was finally captured and brought into the office of Valentine's Chef. Bounty Hunter is rumored to be a family member of and of someone poisoned by Albright's hideous concoctions. Ah, oh, bullhead catfish. My writings of angling from Jeremy Gill. My writings of angling continue to attract fresh young neophytes eager to begin life's journey of standing in solitude, holding a pole, silence free from brittering a fairer sex. Indeed, I have even taught more than the U.S. president of fish, especially catfish, luring bottom feeders into a, f a ponious situation that benefits well. Healed is a prerequisite for successful politicians almost as much as prerequisite any, uh, any wise husband. Catfish respond to handmade lures, crayfish, and worms. Try all three. Tempt on the land is simply wonderful and much maligned fish. They also need to be coaxed and not bullied. They are fantastic bullhead catfish near Cisco Island. If you see me angling for bullhead, please do not come say hello and ask for an ongoing unlike fish. I promise I won't bite. And there we go. Damn, that is a lot of lore. <laughs> oh, man. How long did that take? And I gotta read the other one, too. Fucking hell. So that took about 14, 13 minutes. Good grief. <sighs> Alright, well, another 40 minutes. Blood in the streets of Valentine Lawman, Duchess Gang, Cornwall, face off. 
dead everywhere, families grieving the conqueror. Valentine residents say it sounded like an Indian wars had resumed in the streets as first shots rang out and women feeble ran to cover. It soon turned into unrelenting I would say unrelenting catastrophe of gunfire, but that doesn't say catastrophe. Lawmen traded shots and members of the notorious Vandalin gang who had come to town to rob and steal a few agents known to be working for Leviticus Cornwall joined in the fray, quickly creating a scene of Im unimaginated chaos. Valentine is well known in the region as a rough around edges livestock town with some insibilious visitors and altercations are not common. The recent spread of violence is, however, unprecedented. Bar fights with Smithfield Saloon are too frequent, and you're still in shock at the recent violence, including a brutal massacre of Six Point Cabin. Calling on state federal authorities for assistance. Including recent violence, Six Point Cabin. Wait a sec, where's that? Where's that again? Six Point Cabin. Oh, well, that's the O'Driscoll camp. Yeah. So what are they? What are they trying to say there? The O'Driscolls are good. Civil War soldiers turned criminals. Namoyan raiders turned free staters. Quest for independence now control area near Old Shady Bell Mansion. The war for southern independence took... Oh my goodness, this is a long one. The war for southern independence took many casualties. Almost every family in the country knew of a loved one who perished in that war. While many have put the conflict behind them and tried to bring the proud nation back together, that is very sure continues to the members of the Lemoyne raiders. Initially looked upon as patriotic heroes fighting against tyranny during the conflict, they have failed to let the war between the states pass his history. Instead, using it as rally point to wage wage war rate. Why I hate when it says wage war. It's wa wa. Should be point to rage war on law-abiding citizens, and some say they have become the tyranny themselves, structured as military unit continue to recruit young disaffect men to engage in robberies and arms deals even declaring that they are immune from tax and other regulation they speak frequently to freedom and independence yet there has been numerous reports of robberies from the government institutions and citizens themselves current dispatches indicate that they've taken up refuge in locations in the swamps by using the lowland county country yeah, country. And many lawmen bounty hunters apprehend to approach the area of some sort of massive amount of force when his murderous gang to heal. Humatic wonder. Inventor patients motorized carpet sweeper. Bulky handcrafted carpet sweepers may soon be relics when Thomas Boy, did you just take your there? That's actually a cool detail. I didn't even know that was a thing. Too bad I missed it. While in his study afternoon, he overheard his wife and law, uh, wife and mother-in-law laminate on the hardships of clean floors, working bellows on the carpet sweepers. He came upon the idea to begin tinkering, the result in a pneumatic comic renovator, which creates a vacuum-like suction that pulls dust into a receptacle. It features yeast, convenes a large gasoline-powered combustion engine. Riverton showed the devices state fairground in California to the delight of many mothers and tenants who tried the innovation themselves. Safe and easy to use. He said the sound of gasoline engine becomes relaxing, can be used to clean the baby's room while she sleeps soundly in her crib. Huh? Oh, well, okay. Alchemist claims gold created from tin. While prospectors seek untold millions in gold lying in streams and hills in the west, where spread of the man who close who is close to making gold residents in the area of border between Collar Springs and Gaptoof Ridge in Austin say rumors are running rampant of a reclusive alchemist, Anthony, who lives in a small cabin and is close to perfecting the ability to change any base metal such as copper or tin into gold. If such a discovery is announced, the gold market would surely collapse, says one economist. A treasure hunter disappears while seeking em was seeking fame emerald from Grama. Louis T. Abreshen has made a mass collection of gems around the world and is particularly fond of emeralds. Having 
betrothed an emerald engagement ring from stone from Egypt he met her eyes six months ago. He bid farewell to his wife and newborn and was headed to Frigate Island of Guam, a space West Indies near Cuba in search. It has been rumored that the Light Emerald ever discovered his wife, Henrietta Abrisson, reports that he received one of two letters brimming with excitement as Lewis claimed to be close to finding the object of his quarry. Then communications ceased and weeks passed without a letter or cable. She fears the worst and has asked parishioners, local church hunters everywhere to pray daily for a safe return. Royal Kidnap, reward offered for Princess Isabel Luxembourg Royal 15 year anniversary of suspected kidnapping. Oh, jeez. Luxembourg, in a royal proclamation, the Grand Duchy of Luxembourg has issued a decree offering a reward of $1,000. That's actually a lot for back then. What, ten, that's $10,000 back then for information resulting in the whereabouts of Princess Isabu. The princess disappeared at a remote hunting lodge while on a hunting trip during a private family visit to the United States. She was five years old at the time. Some believe she was murdered, some that were abducted, kidnapped, although no ransom note was ever received. Other post it that she was in by wild animals. Her disappearance has been a source of never ending trauma and embarrassment to the royal family, especially her brother was frequently implored the American people to assist in finding information regarding her whereabouts and himself denies the wrongdoing of where disappearance. Well, there have been rewards offered in the past, the most recent offering is the highest ever considered. If I was rumours that she had been taken to a small town in the United States. Princess Isabu is a characteristic birthmark on her face in one who respects whereabouts of his local enforcement. I wish some of this was in the game. Like, I don't know if these some of these are or not. That, like, that's the thing. Ah, oh, women's suffrage debate movement grows many in opposition. The Moyne Law Mark, I bet Bashmir spoke as a meeting addressing the women problem as concerns grow over the emerging suffrage movement. States in the North have passed laws allowing women's suffrage to their detriment, arguably their Demation cannot allow scourge in the north. Here and the women are evidently weaker sex, unable to think of coolly and calmly. Giving them the vote would lead to a great damage to the republic and to the state, he said. To the standing ovation, well known activist Dorothy Wicklow has held meetings in Saint Denis and other towns in recent months promoting voting rights for women. The voting is spreading to smaller towns such as Rhodes, but traditionalists are confident that the common sense will prevail. Well, I think they did. Kidnappers at large, lawmen on the hunt, rents have been tortured. A statewide man has run away from Le Moyne for the Anderson Boys, a brutal, bloodthirsty gang, who been taken to kidnapping, ransoming locals, led by Anders Anderson. Laws are responsible for spread of violent attacks in the region the past five years. Fear and rampant was spread over 2,000 years. Three men were kidnapped, belly tortured, and maimed for life. Tyro Walker attempts greatest feat yet. Tyro Daredevil Bessie Adair is preparing for her greatest feat yet, working across Pikes Basin in New Austin. Known for her death defying feats, the St. Denis Circus spent the past week's emergency training for a bold attempt. Dare plans next month to celebrate tightrope walk. Precise date has been determined. Pex flying machine crashes. The improved Apartheid leaves successful than original. Cecil H. Peck, Secretary of Smithsonian Institution, has worked tirelessly for several years on a steam powered flying machine that used for war purposes the aerodrome. It's named its unmanned launches from the top of a houseboat caliber. Her experience met a certain degree of success, flying briefly before crashing. Newmile buckled upon launch 
and fell in the river. He was given $25,000 for the project. His ex experiments have inspired many scientists' minds. Professor Peck says the Smithsonian recently received a detailed letter from the Wright Cycle Company, a bicycle manufacturer, Yaffe to hire, requested publications about aeronautics, playing experiments of their own. President's Act further isolated America. Country plunges into the blackest gloom. Tough trade. McAllister signed the Tariff Act last week, raising custom duties at every average 60%. Shopkeepers and traders said the tariffs will surely ca cause businesses to close and prices to skyrocket in port imported woolen products now face 90% rate. President Sir deciding that tariffs result in national prosperity. We must keep foreign products from our shores. They strip our workers' lay of food, tables, and families. Early seek rich benefit titans of industry abroad said signing the president's popularity has been waning during his campaign. The American isolate isolationism, and especially after a tyrant epidemic, ravished and killed 25,000 troops. In military bases across the country under his administration. Circus delights young and old. By all accounts, Margaret, mistress of danger, of Danga, makes the grandest circus show. All of the surrounding country comes to enjoy the spectacle and splendor that cause wonder and joy. Margaret, mistress of Danga, Danga, the world's greatest female animal trainer, is the most superior of all canvas-covered entertainment hailing from England. Margaret delights the crowd. She wrangles exotic beasts, including zebras, fierce tigers, and a ferocious lion. Mm -hmm. While the other traveling circuses have taken to exhibiting the latest fashion and freaks, Margaret delights the feats of animal entertainment. Having held multiple shows in the area, they are packing up the tents and to roads. And the last one, again, by Jeremy Gill. It is well known that angles go mad at times, like... Hairs in March, the sight of the annual saloon run of steelhead trout, snapping or flies spring is topic for off a forecast for the best of us. However, there exist there exist fish are available all year round and great dripping great joy. When it when in Italy I once took Pope the Pope fishing for chain pickerel and he delighted at the fantastic action and fight of his tooth of this toothy fish. I'm no Catholic. But even I was impressed by his holiness, wisdom, and insight. And we remain firm friends to this day. Often he writes to me about spiritual manners, which brings me back pickerel. While drawn in spinning lures and sunny weather, pickerels are bony fish, often overlooked, but fight with his predatory fish in Big Valley for an afternoon. Upon relaxing an appetif, you will marvel in the deadest of your arms from the reeling, with or without a prominent Catholic clergic at your side. Oh my goodness. That's half of the stream gone by reading the lore. But it is very important to read the lore. My, my. Hi there, folks. Take your foolishness elsewhere, you shit-brained animal. What? Nice to see some friendly faces around here. Uh-huh. Anyway, folks, please don't... I'm me. Bye now. Out of the damn way. That's the only thing I can do. That absolute disgusting Thank manner of yours. Alright. I wonder if we can go back to camp and play five finger fillets.
There is five finger fillet. Awesome, let's go do it. Let's go, come on. Five finger fillet right now, one of you. With you? I can't say no to that. You know, I'm kind of happy we ain't heading west no more. Only for now we ain't. Further away I am from my brother Amos in California, the better. That bastard. I would love to meet this man. Imagine a spineless version of me. Oh, you're twin then. You are the creepiest man I know. But really, it was that bad must have gone to your head, Morgan. I mean, thieving is all right. Whole Never country is just fire, about thieving. Maybe whole world is. But the killing, the killing, I can stomach, because it turns out I can stomach more or less anything, but that don't mean I like it. Don't mean I like it one bit, nor myself for putting up with it. Yes, I hope that if we can get the you hell out of here, then maybe we can go legit. Maybe Dutch will calm down, maybe it'll be okay. <laughs> Some chance. <sighs> hey. Uh. Oh, that's it? Okay, well, I'll head back to Fingers then. If it's still available. Actually, no, it's not going to be available now, is it? Because I just played it and I cancelled it. Why did I do that? Why did you do that? Well, I wanted to listen to the dialogue because that always bloody happens and it's so annoying. Uh, oh, now it goes back! Fucking hell. Oh. Have a quick nap, Arthur. Hopefully it's still available. It is. Right. We're going to play Mike now. Unless it's locked. It's locked. Why is it locked? There he is. Hello, Arthur. <laughs> Looking good there, old fella. Go to hell. After you, old fella. After you. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Alright, let's go. Who's feeling brave? Go on, Micah. Or is it Lenny? It's John. Oh no, it's Javier. Don't feel ashamed to give up.
What does the flourish do? I don't understand. Location. All right, so we're gonna have to figure that one out eventually. Might as well go read the lore again, considering that's what this episode is going to be mostly. him so much. The British chased him over here and shot him in his bed. Tough business. And we never got that new start. I got sent to reform school. Didn't reform me too much. <laughs> I tried to kill Dutch first time I met him. <laughs> Y'all hear that story, right? Screwed a lot of them, I say. Whole world can go to hell for all I care. The only thing that matters is the tiny number of people that aren't liars and cheats. Well, well, most of them are liars and cheats, but, but only on the outside, not inside. Hello, Arthur. Hello, Hello. Pearson. Oh, is that it, Sean? I thought there was more to that. Okay, I'll catch you later then. McGuire family history. Don't we know it well? I wear my hat and my sleeve, Morgan. What can I tell you? Oh. You gonna get up? Oh, sorry, Jose. I'm so sorry. I forgot what it was now. I'm going back to sleep. Alright, time to read more lore. I don't think I've read this. Maybe. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Former Finian raider killed in a gun battle. Oh, oh no, this is Sean. Okay, so I haven't. The Imperialist of London, June 1889. Oh, so this was this year. Former Finian raider killed in gun battle. After decades escaping justice, the law finally caught up with. Ah. Oh. Okay. After decades of escaping justice, the law finally caught up with Deraga Maguire. Mr. Maguire was a well-known Finian and prominent of Irish independence who had attacked the end. But yeah. Why don't you fuck off back to hell? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you hit like you dress. Mm. Oh, feminine. <laughs> I really wish I could antagonize him. Well, I might call it a night. <laughs> oh, I'll wipe that smile off 
your face one day, leave me. Look at you. You're one to talk. Where'd he go? Oh, Kane. You cootie boy. You had that coming. You shut your mouth, Morgan. That has made my day. <laughs> Alright, can I please read it now? I hate these random and dialogue encounters now in camp they're just infuriating there's so many that happen so often at the same time all right well known Finian prominent Irish independence who attacked the empire and all it stands for in two country continents government nations who had pursued him for many years once found the traitor in a harm farmhouse outside of Clifton yeah in Connemara but he eluded them Desperate manhunt ensued, and it was discovered Mr. McGuire had fled to America. Finally, Mr. McGuire was found lodging a rooming, rooming house in Boston, Massachusetts. There, the men finally engaged in gun battle with a traitor who was killed in action. Reports with family members that he was murdered in his sleep was denied by other witnesses. A little more uh, than further Finian propaganda. Tonight, all law-abiding citizens known across the empire will sleep easier in their beds. As long ago as 1860, Mr. McGuire was implicated in the so-calvinian uprising the square through Galway burning three large properties and leaving many dead to escape capture fled Canada where he was part of Finian raid near the great fall of Niagara that left eight people dead later he returned to Ireland where he was desperate being wanted for murder he became prone figure of Republican politics and a battle that he and ilk waged against the parasitic entrusty of Ireland whether English or Irish, a personal war against the natural order of things damage landowners, ruined farmers, and disrupt the peaceful propagan propagation of life as it meant lived. Now, decades after destruction and treason, just caught up with Mr. Maguire. On 1889, not 1899, right? So that was 10 years ago. Was that 18? Oh, it's 10 years ago. That was 10 years ago. Out of trouble there? Of course I am. Do you just collapse there, Mr. Williamson? Yeah, that's uh that's that I've done that, read that. Hello, Dutch. Oh, can't go in there. See, what's the twenty-four dollars for the 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 heist? Do some fishing, eh?
This could work. fish out in the night. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, there's no fish out here tonight. It's early morning too, so that's actually very surprising. Actually, I had some fish I got, yeah. Yeah, I'll go sell those too. It would actually be a good place to put a um, CE card, actually. Did I go up there? I think I did, although I don't remember any of this. That's cool. 6 a.m.
Anybody need a ride? <laughs> What's it to be? Guess I should head out there hunting again. Okay. Deal. Thank you, mister. Thank you. Really. Oh, you can go in the bank. It's hey there. Morning. Yep, I'm sorry. I was just testing the waters. Yes. Just exploring. You got any ciggy cards in here? Doesn't look like it. Good day. Come on in. Oh yeah, I wanted to buy a watch. Did I upgrade my? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. Take a look. Any questions? Feel free not to ask. Now, let me see. Where do you buy the? I some more hair tonic. Yep. Oh, they don't have the watch. Sold. Oh no, I do. I don't have it. I must have sold it. Fuck. I must have sold it. Fuck. And that should be good. Can I buy another one? I thought I was generous allowing our stable boy to sleep under the new canvas of the wagon. But I found several sticky bits on my last trip. He will need replacing. Ugh. Well, that comes with no surprise. Hey, folks. Hello. Good morning to you. Having a bit of gossip, I see. Sounds very interesting. How's it going with you? Quite well, thank you. If you don't mind me saying, um, you look lovely today. No response. Yeah, well, that's my, that's just my life as well, with uh, no responses from the women at all, you know. Newspaper man, no, he's not there. Howdy. Morning. Okay there? Morning to you, amigo. I don't think that is Mr. Great. Hello. Morning, sir. Excuse me. Run along. What? 
Open revolve. Ah. Esther. Hello. He even comes out in the morning. I thought he only comes out in the afternoon. Jeez. Has anyone seen Gavin? Oh, it's just Nigel. Just walking around the bits. I'm looking for Gavin. He's my best friend. He left me. I lost him. Friend, I don't mean to pry, but uh, is that the breakfast you menu? Look, jeez. What do you mean? I've got a badge, mate. Ah, uh, how dare you, ladies? And a very good morning to you. <laughs> how do you do? Has anyone seen the English man? Oh, it's just Nigel. He's looking for Gavin still. Oh man, I'm I'm looking for the I'm looking for the newspaper man to give me an update on the law. I'm looking for my friend. Oops. I just... I don't think I killed it though. I just hit the cat. <laughs> hey, you got anything for me? Say I'm not sure. Like. Alright, what do you have for me? Not bad, this. I'll keep that. Uh... Trinkets. So I'm getting a coyote and a fox, I think. There's a coyote, legendary coyote, what? Deadeye, ooh, that's a good one. And the fox, eagle eye. Yeah, they're both good trinkets. You don't get much in the... in the... Uh, clothing side, but uh, for their trinkets, it's actually pretty good. A horse reviver pamphlet. Have a good one. So the newspaper guy ain't there. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save.
there. I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. Let me load it. the help talking about that boy you got killed in Rhodes. Seems to have them all shook up. Won't be the last time either. Hey there. That's okay. Uh, yes, right. I'm gonna pause it here for two minutes, and yeah.